Well, hello internet. This is RJ here, and welcome back to the brand new video on this channel. So finally, we are doing this video of my project, which was a portfolio website, which I had done as my university project in my last sem. And trust me, this is not an ordinary portfolio website which you see on the YouTube and all over the internet. I have done many things which I was not able to find on the internet. So this video will be very helpful for those who are seeking for some project ideas. So let's discuss about the tech stack which I have used. So I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for the front end. In CSS, I have used Tailwind uh, framework for Uh, faster development uh, then i have used php for backend the whole backend was made with php then for database i have used mysql so let's move on to the project in 3 2 One. All right, so here we are on our home screen. So the first thing you can see is the uh, nav bar, and on that left side we have our uh, name, and on right side we have some links, and along with the admin login button, which can be accessed by admin to log into the uh, admin panel. Uh, below that we have our uh, text uh, describing us, and two call to action buttons. Uh, one of them is download resume for downloading our resume into the PC. and uh, the hire me button which can be uh, used by clients to uh, approach me below that we have our social media links for linkedin github instagram and youtube yeah so let's try the download resume button so if you click on it the resume will be downloaded into your system uh, which can be accessed by you later and as you can see we can open it into your system the next thing is hire me button here you can contact me directly through to my mail you just have to fill this contact form with all your details so let's try some sample details to uh, see if it works so we'll click on submit and let's see if it works so as you can see you have got this message and if you click on okay and if we check on the mail which i have registered uh, for this thing So let's check it if I have received this uh, contact form information on my mail. As you can see, I have got this mail said inquiry and with sender name, email, phone number, budget, timeline, description, etc. Uh, all the things which we have submitted on that contact form. So let's scroll down to the next section, which is uh, my qualifications and my skills. So here you will see all my qualifications till now. uh my uh, 10th standard 12th standard and my graduation below that we have skill section in which we have included all the skills i'm used to or i'm working on and uh, in that we uh, can access the wikipedia page of each skill if you don't know about that particular skills you can uh, click on that anytime and you will be redirected to the wikipedia page telling about that particular skill that's all on the home page Uh, now let's move on to the next section which is about page before that let me tell you that the whole website is fully responsive and you can access it through your phone tablet or uh, your pc and it will work fine on every screen uh, or every aspect ratio so now let's move on to the about section and in that i have included again uh, like small bio for me next is my small introduction and below that i have certifications uh, like the certifications which i have done till now uh, and again if you click and if you click on any of that certifications you will be redirected to the uh, particular certificate okay so now let's move on to our next section which is projects and this is kind of blog site for your personal use where you can upload your projects with title photo description and a link to that particular project and as you can see i have uploaded some sample projects on Uh, this page to give you an idea uh, about how it will look and we'll also see that how to upload this dynamically through the admin panel in few minutes let's move on to the last section which is posts and this is something like you can say a uh, instagram profile for yourself where you can upload the posts or the things or the activities you are doing uh in photo format with small caption and this is also dynamic so this is all from the uh, user side which user will see and now let's move on to the admin side so for that we have to uh, log in first and we can log in through the this admin login button uh, we have to just uh, click on it and then we'll see, we'll be able to see the uh, login page and then you have to click on login button so you can see your welcome admin you are logged in uh, then we have to click on okay to proceed further now here you have some tools uh, for your admin where you can uh, upload or delete content from your website so as i have shown you that i had one post there so let's try to de delete it and if we click on delete button so here here uh, the post is successfully deleted as you can see so let's verify if it uh, is deleted from the user side or as well so if we go on the post section you can see that there is nothing and our post is deleted 
now let's again uh, log into the admin panel and uh, see about let's see if we can post something as we have deleted so uh, let's select some random files to post and let's add a description as well after that if you click on upload button you can see that the post is uploaded so let's try the same uh, for our project also so we will give a title and a photo uh, which will be a screenshot of of our home page and a description telling about the website or the project along with the project link and as you can see the project is also uploaded to this now let's log out and check if the two two things which we have uploaded are reflected in our client side successfully so as you can see our project is uploaded uh, it's showing the testing and uh, the photo which we have uh, uploaded and in the post section we have our photo as well which we have uploaded so this is how it works so this is all about my portfolio and the project which I have done for my university. The second thing I would like to add is I'm very open to share this project with you. Of course, not, not for free, but the cost will be minimal and will be affordable by most of the students. As I know that uh, as a student, we don't have much money. Uh, but if you want to try uh, some things or you want to customize this project and present it as your project, you can do it uh, anytime. You can approach me on Instagram as well as my email ID regarding the project purchase and i'll tell you what you will get along with the source code so uh, all the details are in description please go, go through it so that's it for this video and if you have any doubt or anything related to this project you can ask me in the comment section i'll try to reply all of these comments please admire this with a like and share this with your friends which are which are working or looking for a project also 90 percent of the viewers are not subscribed to this channel so please subscribe to this channel for this kind of amazing content and informative videos okay so hope to see you in the next video till then adios amigos